Lucretia Mott was born Lucretia Coffin on January 3, 1793, in Nantucket, Massachusetts, to a Quaker family. At the age of 13, Ma attended a Quaking boarder school in New York State. She stayed there and worked as a teaching assistant several years after. There she met her husband, James Ma. The couple married in 1811, and she became a Quaker minister. Because Ma was a supporter of the William Lloyd Garrison and pushed for the protest of goods produced by slave labor, she was persecuted by several groups. She went to the world's anti-slavery convention that was held in London in 1840. Women could not be full participants there, which led her to push for women's rights. Back in the United States in 1848, she helped call the Seneca Falls Convention with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Caddy Stanton. At this convention, James Mott, Lucretia's husband, was asked to preside. After the Civil War, she pushed for black rights. She helped found one of America's first co-educational colleges, which was the Smithmore College. Mott died on November 11, 1880, in Shelton Hills, Pennsylvania. Despite Mott's efforts, there's still lots of inequality in the world today, and many groups and people are still pushing for the equality of all men and women and races in the world today, and hopefully we can work to help that goal be accomplished. Thank you kindly friend Lucretia. Thank you kindly friend Lucretia. She was a Quaker. Thank you kindly friend Lucretia. For thy light still shines for me. In the town of Philadelphia, she hid the fleeing slaves. For the freedom of her sisters, she dared cross the ocean waves. And she asked Ulysses Grant to grant a pardon for the braves. And her light still shines for me. Thank you kindly, friend Lucretia. Thank you kindly, friend Lucretia. Friend Lucretia, for thy light still shines for me. Let's bring an end to poverty, the gentle Quaker pled. Let's give the workers all a chance to earn their daily bread. Let nations live in peace again, just as our Lord had said. That light still shines for me. Thank you kindly, friend Lucretia. Thank you kindly, friend Lucretia, for thy light still shines for me. Throughout the busy cities and across the countryside, she preached one simple message, oh let truth be e'er thy guide. Mind the light within thee and let love with thee abide, that light still shines for me. Thank you kindly, friend Lucretia.